Good morning from the Walby Holland employee parking lot. We're going into the back side of Walby Holland. Uh, we're set for a fun filled day. Uh, right there is Speed of Sound, which is the highly anticipated ride because we were listening to the soundtrack earlier. But then there's Express Ride from 13 all the way over there. So you've you know. literally ridden Rock and Roller Coaster. We are entering the park via a big W, <laughs> and we're in. Today's gonna be pretty exciting because we are gonna get to do Untamed for the first time, which is yet another RMC. Presentation of it looks very cool. It used to be the old uh, Robin Hood roller coaster, which is a Vacoma Woody, uh, which we just did one yesterday, and that one was bad, so. I mean, that gives you an idea that, uh, yeah, this is a much uh, excited improvement to something that uh, I was not a big fan of last time I was here. I guess first up is gonna be Express Platform 13. This is one of the two roller coasters I haven't done here because uh, last time I was here, th this ride was closed for pretty much the entire day, so did not get to experience it, but I've heard the queue is fantastic. This is creepy. Is this a hot maze? <laughs> Ooh! That's so cool! Ooh. <laughs> what? What? This is the queue? What is this? What? This is... Oh my gosh! Everything takes place behind these doors and the windows you cannot see through so you know what's happening on the other side of them. Please mind the gap, I love that. <laughs> we just rode Rock and Roller Coaster! Yeah. But it was like pretty cool. It was oh, spooky! It was, like, it was big spooky. Oh my god, it's like a, it was like a, a hunt maze for the queue line. So yeah, cool. that was so fun. It was weird doing it outdoors. Hey, look at that. You could wear that to Hollywood Studios. It was cool though. It's honestly very cool to experience it where you can actually see everything going on around you. While we Holland might have the strangest looking sky coaster. Like what even is that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever Vacoma SLC. Condor, which actually since last time I was here, received brand new trains. So it doesn't have that same head banging that it would normally. So I'm actually really intrigued to see how it runs now because last time I was not a fan. The new trains on this are pink. They're bright pink. That's kind of weird with the uh, track being orange and the supports being teal. So the last SLC I did with these trains was Mayan and uh, Energy Landia, which was actually a good one. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that was probably the best one I've done outside of like Nor'easter, which literally got like a whole freaking like redo. I mean, this is probably the most nervous I'll ever be at a coaster at this park. Like, <laughs> All yeah. the other rides, way crazier, but like, I'm so good. You, you haven't done it with the new trains either. I haven't done it with the new trains, but I heard it's still a little... <laughs> Last time I did this, I hated this thing. Yeah, no. You probably hear Sarah scream in the back. <laughs> oh, jeez. I guess the restraints, like you don't get head banging. There's no head banging anymore, but it's but still like garbage. The track is still like. Oh my god! I'm glad we can do other stuff at this park. What did you think of the first ever Vacoma Castle? Okay. We didn't even get wet. That was great. Oh my god! Best ride ever. I have to say, I do think it's it has some fun in it. Like with the head banging part taken out of it with the new trains, like they're shuffling around. I I don't mind it. It's like we. I don't know. I can't relate. Can someone tell me why Walby Holland themed a children's ride to tequila? 
This is literally bumper cars. We're back at my ride. Last time I was here, I was a ride operator, and they've actually redone this entire station, so it's completely different now. But yeah, the kind people at Wallaby Hall and like put me in a uniform and had me dispatch some trains for 15 minutes, and it was a super cool experience. And now we're back. It feels like I'm with my child again. If you look closer, these are actually cutouts of the train. They look like like nano coaster cutouts. Like I feel like I need nail clippers to punch them all out. All right, so last time I was doing this, so it's Sarah's turn. I'm gonna do it better. I'm gonna press the start button better. Yeah. <laughs> do I press at the same time? Is it one, two, two, one? Yeah, just uh, you, you push them together, okay. and then uh, just for a few seconds. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, first, thumbs up, of course, like in a roller coaster. And yeah, you can push both buttons. Yeah, there we go. Hey! Yes. Gates just open. You're welcome, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so two laps there on Goliath. What did you think? It was a lot more fun in the front row, but I still am not like big on the like the heels. Like they don't I feel the same way about the Superman rides too. Like they kinda like don't really do anything for me. But the airtime hills are so good and that alone makes the ride worth it. Yeah. Now the first turn after the stangle dive, that little helix there uh, over the water, I do gray out on that one. So I feel like that one is probably the most powerful uh, moment there, but yeah, I definitely see where you're coming from. Uh, it's a very enjoyable roller coaster though. It's not too intense or anything, and they gave you a certificate for working the coaster. I'm a ride operator now, yay! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we usually give these to little kids, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're entering the wilderness. Look at this. It's a, uh, what do you call it? A spider car? Spider car. Or something? I don't know. It's very cool like and very a, steampunk. It's like a European transport car. <laughs> kind of. But look at it. Look at that. Oh, and it's going up. I'm so excited. Check out that sign. Oh, it looks so cool. So here's a fun fact for everyone. So Untamed would be the last RMC I need in order to have ridden all of them. However, in the past two days, Wonder Woman has opened up at Six Flags Magic Mountain. And so, uh, because now that is another RMC on the list, I still wouldn't have ridden all the RMCs. <laughs> Having done Robin Hood, it's gonna be very exciting to see uh, how they transformed that layout. And actually, straight ahead of us is a section of that old track, and they have a piece of the old train there, and it's all overgrown and wooded. That is very, very cool. This is so creative. They took literal pieces of the old track and just scattered them throughout the queue. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. The other thing I love about this queue, it's all dirt, which really helps feel with this whole like wilderness, like secluded vibe. Like look at this, everything is just so overgrown, very jungly-esque. I really like it. We're in the Untamed Station. It's literally a greenhouse. It's like nature roller coaster. Yeah, Literally exactly. my two favorite things. It's very cool. We're doing back car for the first time. Here we go. We just did Untamed in the back car. That was very, very good. Yeah, that's super cool. My favorite part of the ride was like the last like couple of uh, elements. The return trip Yeah, is excellent. It was so cool like going through the structure and stuff and like it, it's like very reminiscent of the ending of Steel Vengeance where it's like yes. air time hill, air time hill. Oh my God, are there more? Oh my God, there's more. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, it, it absolutely was. Um, and what we were saying was there's a lot of different things going on during this ride. Like, the first part is very inversion heavy, you know? Like straight after the drop, it has that weird like inversion thing. You have to show this. 
There are no bad pictures. That's just how your face looks sometimes. Ooh. Wow. Oh. How'd you like it, Matt? The ride was actually like, it was pretty untamed. Like when you went over that first <laughs> drop. Wow. Oh my God. No, but it was actually really fun. I, I enjoyed it. It was relentless and insane. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was better than uh, twi uh, than Twisted Timbers by a long shot. Okay. Uh, yeah. And August, so you've obviously done this before. Yeah, I've done it a lot of times, so but it's still like, I just really like the variety on it. It's It, it packs a punch. I really like this ride. I love that RMC is like, what stupid thing can we put before our lift? So it was like, instead of just like normal people just being like, no, Let's it's go. Like, it's like, you know, you have like Twisted Cycle and we're like, do to do to do, and then you got like Scuba, and it's like, do to do, and this one's like, let's just go this Whoa. way. It's like a Why free not? coaster to the actual coaster. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I love that. All right. Yeah, we definitely need more rides in on this thing. All right, right up, popping off of Untamed. You never know who you run into in Europe. Allison, Hi. Steven, we just saw you guys at Hollywood Nights. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. So, all right. What do you guys think of Untamed? Uh, I have to get another ride on it again because there's no way that it should be my second favorite after one ride. What? There's no way. Second favorite RMC? The second favorite behind RMC. Behind what? Uh, behind Zadra. Okay. One. And Iron Gwazi was. Was, was you like this more than Iron Gwazi? I love that it's like not quite as aggressive as all the other RMCs. Yeah, it's very rewritable. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Yeah. yeah, I'm very excited to get back on this thing. And presentation is awesome. We have received some unfortunate news. The speed of sound, the claws. No. no, no music in the tunnel for speed no. of sound. No, I'm so sad. <laughs> what? What? Mike, uh, what is what is this? This is uh, Iron Gwazi with the dumpy dumper. What? <laughs> he's thick, he's a thick boy. <laughs> You're so stupid. Hey, how'd you like Zadra? Uh, it's incredible. And Hyperion? Uh, it's not as incredible. Oh, that's a wrong Yeah, I had to sit on the wing, it sucked. No, what? All right, up next we're gonna eat some cock a doodle do. I hate you. <laughs> Alright, so we got some chicken, some fries. Put that away. We got a chicken burger. Burger! And chicken a burger. fake chicken burger. Fake chicken burger. <laughs> the poor unicorn! Next up, we're entering zero zone. And this sign that they have here is absolutely so cool. Look at this. It's like forced perspective. Here we go, the entrance to Lost Gravity. This is such a cool theme for an attraction. You like it? I like a lot. The helicopter is upside down. This queue is awesome. So these chains on the fence are flipped upwards. Normally they hang, so it's like the gravity has taken over. Here's some stairs that are sideways. And then we go up an escalator that is not working into this little room above. Ooh. We have lost the gravity. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> so cool. And now we're at the station. <laughs> lost gravity. Check. That's such a cool attraction. I thoroughly. I found the gravity. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. What did you think of the ride, though? <laughs> what? It was actually, it was actually pretty cool and like quirky. I would say it's like a wild mouse, but all grown up. Like really? They, they had like weird laterals, nice airtime. It was, it was very quick and whippy. It is. It's yeah. Well, yeah, and because it has those very small, like narrow trains, uh, it can navigate the course really, uh, like yeah. tight. So I think it's cool. It's a good mix of like inversions as well as oh, yeah. airtime moments. I tell you what though, after doing this thing right here, I'm very intrigued to see how the new one going to Europa Park is going to be, because this was the prototype, and that one is going to be a much cooler, more complete experience, uh, including like some launches and stuff, so, yeah, and also a, a longer train, so almost more so in the style of like what Gersai was doing with like their infinity coasters, but it's mock. First time on the front row of Untamed. Here we go. Look at that. That's a crazy way to start out a ride. All 
All right, so we just did the front row of Untamed, and you know, I think it's a front row ride. I would agree. Like, I, I think that each of the elements hit better, like overall. Well, you also, it, the thing that makes it a little difficult is we, the only other time we rode it was like kind of early. Yeah. It since like kicked into a higher gear. So maybe we need to ride again in the back, just to be That's sure. It. The one moment that really stood out to me as, as it felt completely different was the first set of inversions after the drop because um, in the back you get pulled through it but in the front when it, it you go through the first inversion you then kind of stall out there and that moment was prolonged in the front row and that was a pretty cool experience yeah so um, I think that was one of the moments that kind of like sealed that for me I just appreciate the variety overall with this ride like it it, 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 it has so many different kinds of like airtime and sensations and things and they do feel distinctly different back to front so all right, just got another back row ride there on Untamed. It's great. We got some of our friends here from the good old United States. What do you guys think of Untamed? It's good. That's it? <laughs> That's your profound statement? It's good. It's all right. It's not great. <laughs> I'm did... not from the U.S., so you Oh, all right, so we'll just fast it. No, 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 what do you think? Uh, yeah, I've ridden too many times, but it's nice. Oh, okay, so you're I, like used to it. Yeah. Okay, I, I get that. I better because... No, no, I totally get that. Much. Hey, that's fair. And, James uh, Cooper in, in true brand statement, I think it's mid. I don't think it's top 10 RMC. Oh, okay. It does a lot with what it's given. I, I, I like it. For me, as a bigger guy, it gets painful on the thighs. I can okay. ride it a little bit before I, you know, I feel like I can't walk again. But it, I, I always have fun riding it. Yeah. I come back and ride it again. Okay. All right, I'll say something positive. I love the theming and I like the train. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey. That's great. And just for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, bottom five RMC. Okay. Why? Uh, the airtime's forced, unlike Twisted Timbers, where it feels natural. Okay. Um, the layout just doesn't flow well. Okay. It's Interesting. Compared to the big ones and even Twisted Timbers, which flow, Storm Chaser flows better than this. Their last four hills, Storm Chaser's last hills hit better than this last four hills. Okay, that I'll agree with. I'll agree and with that. And it's just choppy. Okay. Interesting. Okay, no, hey, I'm here for the hot takes. I, I appreciate hearing the different perspectives. Over in between the drop tower and some family attractions, they do have this fence going all around this section saying something is coming. It stretches even up to the SLC. So it is a big plot of land if they did want to do something here, that's for sure. I love this. As you're walking up to Goliath, they have these guardrails off to the side, and then they just go into a loop right here and right here. That's so awesome. Goliath is on one train and it's showing that part of the queue is completely full, making it the longest line here. But we got some express passes. All right, now we're doing back row. This will be ride number three for the day. Back row ride there on Goliath. Any other thoughts? Can you just like... <laughs> I'm jamming out to the music. No. I like this thing a lot. I think the airtime's great. People talk about like how the mid portion of the ride with the helixes are boring, but I don't see it. I think it's still fun. I think it's a great ride. All right. East fun ride in the back. I like it. The airtime is great. Yeah, there's really not much to say. It's Excellent. Cool. The thing is, like you said about like people saying that the, the helix part is boring, for an enthusiast that has written like a ton of stuff, yeah, no problem. <laughs> it, might, it might seem a little boring, but like to a regular person where you just go to like this park a lot, like that's fun as hell. Yeah, we're just being picky fun. because that we're the enthusiast. Fun, yeah, it's, so a, that's it's it. a fun ride. Wall Behind actually has some really nice looking merchandise. Strong mug game. I really like these shirts. I think I'm gonna get one of these. These are super fun. Yeah, then they also got that in sweatshirt form. Yeah, this gift shop is popping. Here's one I'm not sure what to think about. Like, I, I get what they're going for, and like, I think it's kind of cool, but like, just at a glance, I think it's kind of weird looking. Like, I don't know. I saw entire shirts that were just Untamed's layout, and like, from an aerial perspective, I don't think that's that cool looking, so I don't know. This one's probably a pass for me. Is it nice? Should I get it? <laughs> yep. That's the one. This is so depressing. 
I love this ride. Well, correction, I love the music. But it's still so sad. I was so excited to do that. Also, this dude talked to me last time I was here. Dinner is served. Check out this burger. So that looks like barbecue sauce or pulled pork or something. I'm not even entirely sure. Big old stack of fries. Got yourself a cheese pizza. I decided I really miss the Onyx, so I went with the standard order. <laughs> wow, the dig. You got your classic vegan burger. Vegan burger. Your no fake, beef. fake meat. It looks it's good. a no beef beef burger. Literally, and then you got the same as I did. Yes, sir. Very nice. Last ride of the night there on Untamed. I think we got three or four back-to-back -back rides. I literally, like, if you held a gun to my head and was like, tell me how many times you've been this ride today, like, I don't know, just shoot me. I have no idea. <laughs> I would guess somewhere a little over 10, maybe, maybe 11 sure. or 12, but I also have no idea. So, uh, that tells you how many times we've been yeah. marathoning. No, um, no, bottom line, no. it is running faster than it was this morning and is very good. I do not know if I still stand by my original statement of the front is better. Um. I don't know. Yes. It's I tough. Know. It is very tough to say. Yeah. Um, it is excellent though. You enjoy your time on Untamed? Yes, that was immaculate and it's, 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 I love it. It's so good. It's better than Twisted Tempers. Ooh. Wow. I don't think I agree, well, but well, I don't you're know. wrong because I'm right. It's better. Ooh. <laughs> and Ooh. you don't get wet. What arm seas do you get wet on? Not this one. How was it, August? I really like it a lot. I like it better than just Timbers as well. Okay. I think it's one. Of, is it my favorite like small arm sea? I guess. Okay. It's, I think it's unfair to compare it to like Sadra or. Yeah, I, the smaller arm seas are in kind of a different class. It's just like it's so much, such a different experience. I think just comparing it to oh Sadra's better or whatever. It's like sure, but I just it's not fair. So. I really like it for what it is. You should definitely come to this park and ride it. Yeah. August, what happened here? <laughs> don't ask. Just don't ask. I don't know why you guys are interested in looking at that image. We are absolutely buying this picture. Look at Pretty your arms, Bill. You're good. Wow. On our way out of Walby Hall and it's closed. Justin Bieber is closing us down here. And we are saying goodbye to the boomerang that we did not ride. This is the only time I've ever been like, man, I didn't ride a boomerang. I know. I was, I was. I know. I, I'm. That I'm sad. Oh, we missed it. Oh, we'll be back. It's we'll fine. be back. I mean, we know. Heading back to our car, back through uh, the employee entrance. You know what's weird is you guys didn't see the main entrance of this park. Is that kind of strange? I think we're just gonna go ahead and end things here. We're not doing anything really interesting after this. We're just driving back and probably going to sleep. Tomorrow is actually gonna be a pretty busy day because we have two parks. They were doing Baba Yan Land. And then Efteling. I demanded that we visit Efteling and we are I'm very excited. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. going to be busy. Uh, the reason we're doing both is because we figured that we'll do Baba Yan Land in a pretty short amount of time and uh, get the right opening and then we'll stay late because Efteling is open I think till 9, which is honestly one of the latest we've seen a park. And that is the latest. Uh, yeah, it is. No, Tivoli and Bakken were up until 11. Oh, I don't know. That yeah. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, overall, what were your thoughts on Wabi Hond? Oh, I loved I it. I loved it here. That was amazing. Thing, I had such a good time. Yeah, the thing is, is it's like, it's like a very normal park when you just look at it, but then if you start to pay attention to the details, you notice so many weird, quirky things yeah. that thrown in. It's like, it says such a personality. They have lots of like weird, like yeah. signs and things everywhere, like the unicorn that was splattered on the ground. Like, yeah, like they had, like, the hell is they that? had posters like the bathroom, scattered throughout. The disco bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that was something that we didn't show in the vlog that we tried to. Oh, but yeah. there was the bathroom by Express that when you go in there and you press a button. Or no, it wasn't express, it was Condor. condor yeah, you press condor. a button and it turns into a disco room. Literally. So like, it's, so it's cool. very strange. So on the, on the surface it looks very normal, but then if you really start to kind of like prod around the details, you're like, this is weird. In the best but way. But that's great, In you know? In the best way. Yeah, so I, it's a fun park and uh, I like the attractions that they have. I like that they're continuing to add attractions that as enthusiasts very much interest us and that it's something that it's like I can with confidence say yeah I'll be back here because we know they're at a raptor like absolutely so no it was a great time huge thanks to the fine folks at Welby Holland for helping us out we had a great time definitely come check this place out they got some great stuff we rode untamed so many times like I have an airtime headache. Untamed. I have a feel little headache too from running on tape. Oh, it's from the airtime. <laughs> uh, so good. All right, we're gonna drive back. 
and then we'll see you guys tomorrow morning at Bobby Online. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Good night.